China is pretty free. I'm free to go anywhere I want, anytime I want, and mostly do anything I want. I ended up making a database of about 96,000 ancient characters. My website was the first one in the world that had ancient Chinese characters. The only thing about traditional Chinese I'm inter really interested in is the history of Chinese characters. I want to show them what the character looked like in back to 1500 BC. What was the original meaning and how did it get to the modern meaning? When I was young, my father was very controlling. I had a very controlled childhood. So when I got old enough, I ran away from home. My interest was in Chinese characters, but it was impossible for me to come to China in the 70s. The first time I came to China was only for a short period in 1994. Before, all of my Chinese research for my website was done in the United States. And so when I analyze Chinese characters, I think, what was the Chinese thinking in 5,000 years ago? The basic meaning of gold, jing, is metal. If you look at it, it looks like a pictograph of a bell. And the bell is made of bronze. I wanted to computerize ancient Chinese characters. But people who were into ancient Chinese characters didn't understand computers, and people who were into computers were not interested in ancient Chinese characters. But the other thing is, the characters that I made my database from, they were from very, very difficult to get books. You could not go to an average bookstore and buy these books. 30 years ago in China, almost no one spoke English. Now, everyone under 30, almost everyone under 30, has had at least 12 years of English in grade school, junior high, and high school. Nine to 12 years, maybe 16 years. Now, in, in recent years, traditional Chinese, traditional Chinese medicine, traditional Chinese opera, uh, and interest in history and ancient characters, uh, many Chinese are interested in traditional Chinese. I started making my database in 1994. Uh, in the 1990s, we didn't have the internet. About 1995, the internet came to the ordinary people. The internet developed very quickly my website came up in 2002, and very few people came to see it. Only a few people who were interested in Chinese characters. Then one day, I think it was 2011, uh, Weibo discovered my website, and in one day, I went from 15,000 hits a day to 600,000 hits a day, and suddenly I became Uncle Hans. Richard Sears. In 2011, when I came here, I discovered that China is quite free compared to 30 years ago. A lot of people heard about my story, and some people wanted to give me a job. So I, for the next three years, I taught physics there. Beijing Shifan Dasha had a job. Fourth in the wall, you have shades. I ask my students, why do you study science? If I would have asked this question 10 years before, everyone, every student would have told me because my father studies science or because my parents told me to or because the Gaokao told me to. But now I had students who some of them would say, I study science for the sake of science. I, I prefer to spend my money on my hobbies and talking to people about Chinese characters. And I also hope that more and more foreigners can understand Chinese characters.